What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going to another cool crater that's on the moon. Let me show you what we're talking about. All right, this is it right here. It's called King Crater. Now, what had me looking at this photo was an enhancement that Neil Spence has done. Now, Neil Spence, you can see the photo right here. It is enhanced, and I believe what he did, if you look at it, it is the same photo because you can see part of the equipment, and you can see, of course, King Crater there in the distance. What he did was he just zoomed in or cropped, and then he just enhanced it. And you can see right here, King Crater Apollo metric camera. And every now and then I get some of you guys, hey man, check out that crater, man, you gotta check it out. So what I do is I'm, I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, okay, I'm looking at it. And I'll, I'll be honest with you guys, nothing blew my hair back other than what looks like maybe this weird cube type thing. And I'm kind of going around it here with a little magnifier zoom in button here. Uh, I'm gonna put a smack dab in the middle. You can see it kind of like this bluest tinge right here. You see that? All right, so I wasn't really, I uh, really wasn't enthused. Let me show you what enthused me. When I looked at this photo, and you guys know this, when it gets washed out, hardly any kind of shadows of any of that sort, right? So I'm looking over here, just look on the outside of this. All on the outside of this, it appears like it is whiter inside as opposed to the outside. Why would that be? Why is this photo like that? Well, you know me, guys, when I see something like this, I'm a bit dubious. I believe something's being done to this photo. So let me show you what really caught my eye, okay? And by the way, guys, get out your magnifiers. You will 100% need them for this because what I'm about to show you is nothing less than awesome. All right, let's zoom into this. All right. Just have a look at some of these little whited areas, like right in here. Let me go ahead and zoom into this. I'm gonna go ahead and circle it around right there. I'm gonna put a right smack dab in the middle of the screen. Have a look at what's in the middle of that white area. Smack dab, that little white sliver. Have a good look at that, okay? Pause this any way you like, you guys know that. And again, we have this other area down here. Check out this weird shape in the ground. I'm just gonna go ahead and circle it. I'm gonna put it right back, smack dab, right in the middle of the, of the screen. You can see it right here, it's at the bottom right next to this crosshair right here, okay? So crosshair's right in the center, and just to your right, maybe the two o'clock position, you can see what looks like a weird indention in the ground. Have a look at that, I'm gonna put that in the middle of the screen. Again, magnifiers. Now look at all the objects that appear to be intelligently put there, they're lined up. Some of them are like rectangular, some are square. Now I'm gonna show you this a lot better, and we're gonna tone these whited areas down a little bit. Let's have a look. Again, kudos to Neil uh, for doing these enhancements. This is awesome. Um, and he did a great job of it, no doubt. Like I said, I see these whited areas right off the bat. There's, you know, there's a reason why when you enhance these things that these things pop out bright. Why didn't over here to the very right-hand side, why didn't I do it? Why didn't over here in the very lower corner do it? Because they were actually looking at this one particular area. Now, is it possible that the sun happen to be shining brightest right in that spot. Could very well be. It could very well be. But again, when I see this and everything's like highly contrasted, there's a reason for it. All right, let's get into this thing. Now, when I see these areas like this, just as going around this yellow piece right there, there's a rectangular white square right there. Let's go down, okay? And it's not just a white spot, guys. Look at off the edge into the brown areas you can still see the shapes. So what's that tell me? This is a manipulation to block out most of what you're seeing in these photos, right? Now, let's jump down here. for. Have a look at this area right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over this whole area, this pretty decent swath of area right here. Look at that area with your magnifiers now. Let's sharpen it up now and do that. Now I have a better look. Okay, so let's keep going down with this thing. Bring it down a bit, have another look. Guys, now also, I want you to have a look over here. There appears to be hundreds of structures in these whited areas, and that's just in the whited areas alone. That's not even counting and maybe in, perhaps in the darker areas if you really look at this thing well. There is much more in this photo than we're just seeing right now. I mean, it's just absolutely crazy. Now, is it possible 
some of these things we're seeing in these whited areas are just giant boulders. Absolutely, of course. Um, but when you see things lined up, and, and they look like they're like a square on the side of another square, or circle to circle, and maybe three circles, like this area right here, these three pieces right here, appear to be almost intelligently made and put there. Again, we're looking at this area right here. That area there looks like it's actually in the ground, lower part of the ground than the surface. Now, let's keep going with this. Let's bring this down, shall we? Black and white it. Bring it down. Again, guys, pause this any way you like and then have a better look. This is also interesting right here. Right there. Let's keep going. Bring down the brighter spots we see here on the left. So it doesn't distract the eyes as much. Shopping this up a little bit. Again, the areas I circled have a much better look. Okay. We're going to bring out the lines. We're going to bring out this any way we can. Black and white it. Have a look at that now. These are absolutely, to me, they look like structures on the surface of this moon. Now, these whited areas, they're highly contrasted for a reason. They don't want you to see this stuff. But have a good look at the areas in here, man. My God, this is insane. There are hundreds of structures in different parts of the moon. Now, some people may say, well, why can't we see them? Well, you're not going to see them. Uh, unless you're in the orbiter, you're not going to see these. And guys, like on Mars, is it possible... Because we believe it's like smaller structures on Mars because it is a smaller planet. How do we know that any intelligent species that went to the moon was not also small? We don't know. So these structures would be smaller than we can imagine. And this is the reason why we can't see them either. Or they're just standard size or somewhere on the size that we would build. And there's just hundreds of them, perhaps thousands of them. We don't know. But some of these do not look like just simple boulders laying on the ground. And I think you guys will agree. You just see like it's been purposely put there. Okay. We can check out other parts in here. Like up in here. Now, a lot of this is whited out. Nonetheless, it's there. Look in between the stuff we're seeing. Okay. A lot of this is so brightened up and it's hard to pull out, but it is what it is. We can't do anything about that other than trying to check this stuff out a little closer. So what I do is I try to get away from all of the super bright areas and focus on the things we can see, right? Like I said, take your time, eyeball the stuff with your magnifiers, and it's just crazy some of the stuff you'll see. But this stuff has been covered up. You can't have a photo like this that's been completely white out, and you can see that. It's just crazy how whited out it really is. There's almost like no real shadowing other than maybe a little bit in the in the crater, maybe down the lower left, maybe a little bit here and there. You should see a lot more of it, a lot more. And you can just tell that it's whited out. You could, you could just absolutely see that. So again, have a better look at this thing, guys. Pause it any way you like. I even looked over here inside this crater here, this other smaller one in the, on the bottom. And then when I looked over here, it looked like I'd seen this large rectangular structure right in this area here. Right here. Is it a trick of the eye? Or is it in fact there? I believe that it's there. Some unusual shapes in the lunar surface here. But again, now this area on the lower bottom and on the right, it seemed to me like it was the clearest because it didn't seem like it was in with the rest of it. So they didn't really go crazy on uh, the, the whiting out or the uh, exposure or whatever they did to this. So it seemed like you could pull these out a lot better. And this is the reason why I really went after this area. right there you guys tell me what you think 
guys, what are we seeing here? To me, when I look at that, and I can see it pretty darn well with my magnifier, I see what looks like structures. It's not like just a random rock here, here, and here. I mean, we can see things that are like literally rectangular pieces on the side of each other. We can see things like in a, in a triangle shape kind of thing. If you look at it really good, you can see things that look like they're lined up. On a moon that's supposed to be nothing but randomness and nothing but lunar dust, you wouldn't expect to see that. But whatever that stuff is, it sure looks like it's structural, meaning it's been intentionally built there and put side by side, whatever the case may be. You guys drop your comments and thoughts below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share and always hit that thumbs up button. It does help get the video out. It's YouTube's algorithm that notices this. So by doing your part, by giving it the thumbs up, it actually helps get this video out. Also, I have other videos coming up. There's another moon coming up. I've also have some more Mars coming up. So stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, guys, have yourselves a good one and I'll see you in the next one.